No, 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 please, God, no. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. I didn't like the way the show started. They've given me the best seat in the house. Front row center. Hey guys, it's Matty from Retro Game Machine, and if you like that little preview, head on over to Claimer's channel, and make sure to subscribe while you're there. Okay, so in today's tutorial, we'll be going over what mods you need, and how to install them. Everything that's required will be linked in the video description below. If Max Payne is already installed on your computer, you want to go to Steam, go to Library, find Max Payne in your game list, right click, Properties, click on Local Files, and click browse. This will bring up the game's directory and where it lives on your hard drive. If you want to follow along from scratch, just delete the Max Payne game folder. For step one, you want to install Max Payne from Steam. I recommend getting the bundle because at the time of this video, it's 70% off for both Max Payne 1 and 2. To install your game, head over to library, find Max Payne in the list, and click install. Choose your file location, local drive or external. For me, I'm going to click external. Click next, agree, and with a little help of movie magic, we'll speed this up. Now that we have the game installed, you'll see that a Max Payne folder showed up under the common section in the Steam Games library. For step two, we need to download the reshade mod. I got this link from 12 quasidizazad uh, yeah, uh, anyway, go to 12's channel and show him some love. Tell him Maddie sent you. Let's click on the reshade download link. Click download. Download anyway. Here's a little more movie magic. Show in folder. And here's a zip file. If you don't have the ability to open a zip file, you can download WinRAR in the link in the description. It's free and will allow you to uncompress the file. Go ahead and drag the Max Payne full remaster to the desktop and X out any extra windows. We'll make a little more space. Put this one over here. And we're going to double click and install the fix pack. Double check the directory. If it's not correct, hit browse and go through the lovely tree of folders until you find your Steam library, the Steam apps, common, and Max Payne. Then click OK, make sure the path is correct, and click Next. We want to make sure fixes for Max Payne is checked, high resolution textures, and that we're using the Steam version. For the startup fix, we want to click the Direct X 11 wrapper. For the sound fix, we want to switch it to Ultimate Sound Patch. Leave everything from widescreen fix down checked. And if you don't have an AMD processor, don't worry. This doesn't hurt other CPUs. Click Next, Next, and Install. You want to make sure that this box stays checked and click finish. If you did everything correctly, you should get a green box. We're going to convert the game. So to do this, we're going to press C. Now just let the program run. For me, it took about a minute and a half. For you, it could be quicker or longer. When it's done, it'll say finished. These are the files that were converted. Now press any key to continue. To close this out, we can either hit E or the X. I'm just going to hit E on the keyboard. The last thing we have to do is open the Max Payne folder so we can drag over the DirectX 11 patch. That file is going to be d3d11.dll. You want to drag this over to the Max Payne game directory. For step 3 we need to open the reshade setup. 
double click click here to select a game if a games list doesn't auto populate just click browse select what drive the games on and once again let's find steam library steam apps common and max Payne. find the max Payne application click open next you want to find this direct 3d 10 11 12 and select that this window is asking you to select what packages you want to install just go ahead and select them all and once finished click OK for the next few windows just make sure everything is checked and hit OK there will be about 14 of these windows The reason I'm doing this is because if you pick up Claimer's presets, you might not know all the mods he's using to sweeten the visuals, so just install them all. When you reach this last window, just make sure all the boxes are checked, and you guessed it. Click OK. Once you end up back where you started, the box will say reshade setup was successful. Now you can just X out of the application. If you're looking to be able to tweak the game yourself and build your own look and you do not want to purchase the Claimer preset, once you drag the shader and texture folders from the zip file into the reshade-shaders folder in the Max Payne game directory, you can skip over to step 6. But it's my opinion that you continue through all the steps and spend the $2.64 on Claimer's remastered preset. Because unless you know what you're doing, good luck making the game look as amazing as Claimer does. For step 4 you want to head over to this link to purchase Claimer's Reshade preset. Click Add to Cart and make your purchase. Bring your file over to the desktop. Let's clean up the space a little bit. Ok, open the folder. Look for the Graphic Enhancement Mods. These four files are the .ini files. You need to go back to the Max Payne Game Directory and just drag and drop. And that's it for step 4. Step 5 is a bonus camera mod. It'll change the standard far away view into a tighter over the shoulder that we traditionally see in more modern games. To install this mod, head over to the OTS mod link in the description. You want to click download now. Show in folder. double click now this password is important make sure you copy this double click this zip file drag the over the shoulder collection to your desktop and paste the password click OK X out of all these X out of this let's open this nice thing is you get Max Payne 1 and 2 so let's open Max Payne 1 and you're going to want to drag this data file over to the Max Payne game directory and that's everything so in the next step we'll launch the game and turn all the mods on if you're skipping ahead to step 6 this message is for you the last important link in the description will bring you to 12's channel skip the video ahead to 5 minutes and 3 seconds to learn how to use the reshade plugin don't forget to subscribe now, if you've been with me the whole time, let's continue on to activate Claimer's preset. You finally want to open Steam, find Max Payne, and click Play. Once you get this window, click Options, change your filtering mode, texture color depth, task switching, make sure anti-aliasing is off, the last change is to set everything to high, and click OK. Now for screen mode, if you're using multiple monitors, you want to make sure to click the Buy 32 option. So for me, I'm going to choose 1920 by 1080 by 32. Then click play. And you'll be greeted by the original low resolution Max Payne opening. Just hit enter to skip. At the home screen, you'll see reshade is now installed at the top. Ignore that for now. And let's go to options. Video. 
texture sharpness, set it to high. Then go back, back, and launch tutorial mode. In here, I'll show you how to launch the reshade plugin. Navigate through the menus and toggle on and off the preset. Once the intro animation is complete, to open the reshade plugin, you need to hit the home key. If you're not sure where the home key is, it's in this cluster here. This will launch the home screen and ask you if you want to do a tutorial. At the top of the reshade menu, you'll see a few tabs. To navigate to a different tab, you'll need to hold control and press tab, but do not let go of the control key. This will bring up this box showing you the names of all the tabs. Every time you press the tab key, you'll jump down to a new menu. If you want to change anything in that menu, just let go of control. Now, to be able to activate reshade presets, we need to be on the home screen. So for now, we're going to use our arrow keys in the spacebar to skip the tutorial. When you're in the reshade menu, the spacebar becomes your enter key. So now that we're on the home screen, while using my arrow keys, you'll see a blue box highlighting each different section. To enter any section on a menu, hit the spacebar. And now you can arrow up and down in that section. But we don't want to be in here for this tutorial, so hit Control tab until we get back to the home screen again. Now we want to move up here to the top, next to Reshade Preset. We want to right arrow and hit the spacebar. This will load Claimer's preset. The last thing we want to do is head over to the Settings tab, arrow down until you see Effect Toggle Key. Hit Spacebar to activate. I chose the zero key on the number pad to be my toggle switch for the effect. So control tab back to home. And now you can hit the home key to exit the reshade menu and enjoy Max Pain Remastered. This was Maddie from RGM. See you.